do is just review a little bit of uh, some optimization problems in 2D and start to take these to solving optimization problems in 3D. The first problem here we'll do both by hand and on the computer, so hopefully we'll um, discuss some of the kind of problems that will be consistent, namely moving between symbols and numbers. That's always a little bit weird uh, here, especially with, well, not especially with Python, but just maybe a little bit weird to do both on the computer. So uh, here's a basic textbook problem. We've got 400 feet of fencing to construct a rectangular pen. Um, what are the dimensions of it that will maximize the area? So first let's do this by hand and just kind of scratch out a solution. Um, I'll draw myself a little picture of a rectangle. It's going to have some width and some length. Talk about what we know. We know that the perimeter of this or the total amount of fencing is going to be 400 and we're trying to ma maximize the area which is width times length. But I'd really like to have this as just a f the area in terms of width or length, one of, the, one of the two. And to do so, I use this constraint. We're going to solve this for um, length. That will give us an expression that just involves constants and w, and we can substitute that into this equation. And then we just have a function of area in terms of the width. So. Um, not too much required. We just subtract 2w from both sides, minus 2w, and divide by 2. So we end up with um, w times uh, 200 minus w, or 200w minus w squared. There's our function. We want to maximize this, so we take a derivative. We set it equal to 0. Um, our derivative of w is 200 minus 2w. We solve this for set it equal to 0 and solve for w. We get w equals 100. And using our earlier expression for the length here, that it's 200 minus w, we find that the length is also 100. Or 200 minus 100 is just 100. So here we go. Um, looks like the square will be the maximum area. So let's do the same thing, but use the computer. Um, here we would again start by uh, expressing the width and the length. We're going to use SymPy and make these symbols. And the length in terms of width, we found was length equals 200 minus w. And then we could have an area function where it was uh, width times length. Okay, and then we took the derivative of that. So we said side, uh, well, I'll take the derivative here. I'm taking the derivative uh, of a of w with respect to w. We get our 200 minus 2w, just like we did when we looked at it by hand. And now what we want to do is we want to solve this equation for 0. Right, we want to set this thing equal to zero and solve for w. So um, first what we can do, I'll save that as a variable. And then I'll create an equation um, involving dA where that's set equal to zero and then we can solve that equation for w. And sure enough, we get 100. OK, again, this is the derivative. So we set the derivative equal to 0 and solve that for w. Last thing, we just plug in to our 200 minus, the 200 minus w, right? And this will tell us the length. OK, but that's a, a symbolic solution. So the other thing we may be interested in is just looking at this as a plot um, or numerically if we wanted to visualize this. And to do so, the first thing we need to do is change what our widths are going to be to a, a number. So we want to now consider our widths to be an array. We'll say anywhere from 0 to 400 maybe. 
then we can define a new area function and we're going to return 200 times w minus w squared and then we can plot that including what we proposed as the maximum value here. Oops. Sorry about that. Let me just Okay, and that's where we are saying it and it looks like we have indeed identified at least between 0 and 400 the maximum value of that area function. Okay, so this is one sort of typical textbook problem. Um, next up we'll look at a, a classic kind of AP exam final problem as well.